Okay, so here's how I make a soffit. So this is a project where they want a pretty large soffit with a molding below and a room crown above. So I already did one over here. So I'm going to start with a rectangle. And I want it to snap there. And there. Okay, so I just made a rectangular one for now. So I have a couple of ins and outs. I'm going to make 3D. I'm in sample F. I'm going to use soffits, and I'm going to use a 12 inch soffit. So now that is a 12 inch soffit. And usually when you do that with a rectangle, it puts it on the floor. So I'm going to, see there it is right there, I'm going to raise it up so that it's sitting on top of this molding right here, which is a chair rail molding. And so it's just a plain rectangle still. So I'm going to edit the shape. And I'm going to use the extrude tool a couple of times. It's going to extrude. I want it to snap right to there. I want it to snap into there and right into there. So there I have that little notch. I'm going to do the same thing over here. And had it snap in. I want it to be on the inside part of that molding because I want it to show like it's sitting on top of it with a little bit of the molding reveal sticking out. So I want to accept changes. Actually, there's one more thing I need to do. There is a there is a hood here. Actually, it looks like it's going around it. Let's open a rendering window. It looks like it's conforming to the, the shape of the hood, which is what we wanted, but it's still a dull gray color. So my cabinets, I happen to know, are just a flat white, just a very simple white. So attributes. There we go. Variables, textures. I'm going to turn on expressions. I'm just going to replace this with the number 25. That is a basic white in 2020, a flat white. That's the color of the cabinets. I know that from checking it earlier. So we will open a new rendering window. I'm in the habit now of closing rendering windows whenever I am working in the floor plan just so it doesn't crash because it sometimes does that or at least the very least it slows it down. So there are my two soffits. I have one there and one there with a chair rail molding below. Now let's see about putting a, a room crown in. So this is going to be provided by the contractor or the builder. It's not going to be from the cabinet catalog. So I'm going to go to the room catalog, architectural elements, moldings and soffits. We have a couple of choices. We have molding OG, molding OG2. I believe molding OG2 is taller so we can view in place. So it is three and a half inches tall. Molding O. It's two and seven eighths. So we'll use the three and a half inch. Won't be tall enough, but this works for our purposes. So before I place it, 
<clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to view in place. I'm going to go ahead and change the color of it before I place it. So molding texture, I'm going to turn off expressions again, turn on expressions, 25, place. Now I should be able to just click on this wall, do it down here so it's going clockwise, go on this wall, and it didn't work. So we'll give it one more shot. In place, variables. 25. Let's see, I'll put it, I'll try it over here instead. I'll try and get it toward the outside. There we go. There's our room molding. So we just want to get it to conform to these areas. I'm going to edit shape. I'm going to delete this cut because it will mess us up. And I want to bring it out to the furthest point at the front of the soffit, which is that yellow line right there. And I'm going to use the extrude tool to bring this in against the yellow line. There we go. Accept changes. So we should if we open a And there's our room. There's our room crown. I can probably bring it around this corner too, but it's going around this entire space. And I still need to get it to conform over here. I'll probably make the soffit a little bit taller as well, but that's the quick tip of the day. Hope everybody's having a great day. See you soon.